In this video, I'm going to solve a simple linear programming problem using Python Pulp. Okay, so Pulp is basically the name of the library which I am going to use to solve this linear programming problem. And then later, once I have solved the problem, I will display the solution graphically. So for that, I need first of all, I need to call the libraries. Okay, so in order to solve the linear programming problem, so I am calling a uh, library which is the pulp so how we can do that that is from pulp import static which means i am calling all the functions and the attribute uh, which, which is uh, in the pulp available so all the packages i am calling it okay similarly in order to display the graphically so i will need the matplotlib as well as i will use the numpy uh, library for array perspective okay so from the numpy i will use uh, the arrays so um, first of all uh, let's uh, use this pulp library to solve this linear programming problem and literally we will use these libraries okay so let's uh, run this command so which means i am importing all three libraries then from the pulp package in order to solve this uh, linear programming problem what we need to do is first of all we need to tell whether you want to maximize your uh, uh, objective function or whether you want to minimize your objective function okay so for that the function is that is lp problem okay then the, you can write down the name of the problem whatever you want to do okay and then we are mentioning lp minimize okay so make sure your l is capital your m is capital similarly l is capital p is capital if it is was maximized then we should write down lp maximize so once we have done this okay uh, that is basically we want to minimize it the next stage is we need to define the decision variable so how many decision variables we have so we have two decision variables okay so for that we have the function lp variable then this is the name of the decision variable and then we are defining the lower bounds okay so what is the minimum value so as we know that the lower bound is zero okay so if i uh, press from our keyboard that is shift tab so i can write and uh, check that what the parameters of this uh, uh, function is that is lp variable that is the name of the variable we have to mention the lower bound upper bound and the category so by default it's the category is the continuous type of variable okay so there is no upper bound right now is okay so i can say that the value of x1 could be 0 to uh, up to infinite okay it could be any so there is no upper bound uh, mentioning in this particular problem is and of course uh, when we solve it uh, there would be the value of x1 and x2 uh, certainly because uh, if the solution exists of this particular problem is okay now we are going to define the second variable which is x2 with the same way okay once we have uh, mentioned whether we want to maximize or minimize the objective function whether uh, and as well as we have defined the decision variable the next thing we need to define is the objective function and what was the objective function which is 60x1 plus 40x2 okay so i am writing down 60x1 plus 40x2 and going to store into the same variable which we have defined earlier okay because uh, we mentioned that we want to minimize it so we have to store the objective function in the same variable which we defined earlier as well as we have to define uh, or you can say store all the constraints into the same variable so in order to store into the same variable that's why we are using the symbol plus equal okay which means we are adding and assigning uh, this objective function into this particular variable now we are going to define the first constraint as well as we are labeling the first constraint the second constraint we are labeling the second constraint third labeling the third constraint as well as storing uh, into the same variable so once we have uh, mentioned that we want to minimize the objective function we have defined the decision variable we have defined the constraints the next thing is we want to solve it so how we can do that that is name of the variable in which we have stored the linear programming problem and then uh, dot and i can press tab button okay so here i can call the function from the pulp which is solve okay then brackets close okay so if i run this so one is indicating the problem is optimally 
solve. So in order to print the status of the linear programming problem um, you know, using the pulp package, so I can write down print status. So this would be print as it is. So in order to uh, write the status, whether it's optimum or unbounded, so we can write down LP status that is prop dot status. Okay, so it is mentioning the problem is optimally solved. So in order to get the answers of the decision variables, which is x one's value and x two value, so we will uh, write down a loop for v in which that is basically prop dot variable. That is again the function from the pulp. Okay, so base uh, whatever the variable we have defined, so we define two decision variable. So once the value of v would be x one, another time the value of v would be x two. Okay, then we are writing down v dot name that is x one and x two, and and then we are saying equal to the value. Okay, the value of those variables which is v uh, var dot uh, var values. Okay, so that is x one value and x two value. Now uh, we want to print the value of the objective function. So how we can do that? That is print. Okay, so this is the exact statement which I want to write down. And in order to display the value of the objective function, I am writing on value then prop dot objective. So this is basically the value of the objective function we are getting. Okay. So this is basically the optimum solution. That is, the value of x1 is 1.5, x2 is 1.0, and the objective function is 1.30. Now, if I want to display the optimum solution graphically, so how we can do that? First of all, I'm uh, from the numpy. I'm using a range function. Okay. So and I'm defining the value of x should be 0 to Four and literally I will use this one. Okay, now uh, uh, I'm going to define the values of x1 and x2. So for that I'm basically mentioning when I'm mentioning x that is basically x-axis. Okay, this is basically the y-axis value. Okay, or you can say x2 value. So how I am getting this one? So this would be uh, considered as uh, x. Okay, so this is basically the value of x2. How we can do that from this particular constraint is this is uh, 4x2 uh, would be uh, you can say equal to 10 minus 4x1 and then when we will divide with the 4 we will get 2.5 minus um, x1. Okay, so that is how we are getting this value of, a, of x2. Okay, or you can say the y-axis value and then uh, with the help of second constraint, I am getting this uh, values. So again, x1 would be equal to x and how we can get the value of x2 that is again x2 would be equal to 4 minus 2x1. Okay, so this is 4 minus 2x. Similarly, with the help of this constraint, I am getting the value of x2 that is 12 minus 6x1 and then we'll, uh, when we divide with the 2, I will get 6 minus 3 x right so this is how we are getting the value of x axis or you can say the values of x1 and this is how we are getting the values of y axis or we can say x2 and then i am mentioning that the x axis range should be uh, 0 to 3 on the x axis and 0 to 6 on the y axis and then i am saying that the grid should be true that means these lines should be displayed and then I am saying display me the legends means the green color is representing which type of constraint the orange color is representing which type of constraint so we can easily see that this is basically our 6x1 plus 2x2 is less than or equal to 12th constraints. So the next stage is uh, in order to show the plot so I am calling the function dot show okay. So the next thing is we need to find out the feasible region. So as we know that this is uh, less than, okay, this is greater than, this is greater than, that means the feasible region is over here. So if I want to shade this region uh, and I want to label it as a feasible region, so how we can do that? So first of all, I need to uh, define the boundaries of the feasible region. So as we can see that on a y-axis, the value of x1 would be 0 and the value of x2 is 4. So this is, I'm dividing with the help of array okay uh, from the using the numpy okay or you even you can say list 
okay that is basically uh, i am saying that uh, 0 and 4 okay this is x y similarly the value of this one x1 is 1.5 and x2 would be equal to 1 and then this value okay so this is 1.75 this is basically 0.75 and then we have this boundary point where x1 uh, is uh, x2 is uh, x1 is basically 0 and x2 is basically the 6 okay so this is basically the boundary point and then we are saying that fill it with x and y that is gray so that means it should be shaded this particular region which we have defined the boundary okay and then i am saying that print the value of text at the position point 0.1 okay on x-axis and 4 on a y-axis so it means it should be started from here so it would be display visible and backslash and mean the region should be displayed on the next line and the size of the visible region should be 11 okay mean the font size okay and then i am mentioning with the help of uh, this uh, function that the point of uh, x1 and x2 is 1.5 and 1.0 which is the optimum solution we have obtained from the linear programming problem okay then i am labeling the x axis y axis the title of the graph okay so if we run this one so as we can see that this is our feasible region and this one is our optimum solution point so i hope you got the idea how you can solve the simple linear programming problem using the pulp library and then how we can display graphical solution using the python so you can uh, download this code of lines from my github as well okay so i will um, provide the link in the description so thank you so much see you in the next video